So I'm almost done wrapping this Model Y. This is a Model Y, it was a black Model Y, and now it's a matte black Model Y. And right here, it's hard for you to see, I'll, I'll, I'll pull you in so you can see it, but there's a dent right here. They op Before they brought this to me, they opened it up in their garage and it smacked the garage door. I'm sure many people have done that in their Model Ys. And this company reached out to me about a spoiler a while ago and said, hey, would you like to review this different looking spoiler? I mean, it still looks like the factory, but it's a different look, it's carbon fiber. And this is the perfect car to put it on because I've already wrapped this, but now we're gonna cover that up. Probably the cheapest way to cover that up. So let me show you the spoiler. Here it is, carbon fiber. It looks like the factory one, but let me show you details about it. So this is from a company, Halo. They had some different looking uh, covers for your wheels, kind of an aero cover before. I've worked with them in the past and they sell other things, not just those aero covers, but they have a lot of cool stuff. But they hit me up about this spoiler and it gives you a hint of what the difference is on theirs. This is a dry carbon fiber, so matte finish. And inside this really nice packaging so it doesn't get damaged is a little booklet. Shows you how to, how to do everything on there, how to how to attach it. Um, you have stickers, so you can put stickers on this. Looks like a centering point, uh, a wet wipe, so you can put this on, oh, you even have a tag. Oh, this is cool. Uh, and then, oh, this is the sticker for your, you can put that on if you want to, but you don't have to. That's the cool part. But also inside here you have, uh, what else do you have in here? You have an air freshener. Oh, look at that, a space air freshener. You have your authenticity, it tells you all about it. And then you have more double-sided tape, just in case you mess up, you can put more on there, which is really cool. But again, here is the spoiler. It looks a lot like the factory one, except it has this indentation here, which is a little different, a little different from everyone else. Uh, they, have, they have a small logo back here, a uh, sticker on here. You can actually put your own, because everyone has a YouTube channel now, apparently. You can put your own there and great way to have a different look of a spoiler on your Tesla. So I'm gonna dry fit this on there and we're gonna take a look at it on the car. But you can see the dent right there. And this is gonna completely cover that up because we're this is gonna fit right on the face of this, just like the factory spoiler. Double-sided tape sticks it on there and this actually looks really good. It's got more of a bubble then the factory spoiler, the factory spoiler seems to come out um, and it's like this, so this, this feels like they would have more connection to the car, so it's gonna stay on better. A lot of people have issues with the factory spoiler coming off, but this is really nice. The, the weave on this is super nice too. Really high quality carbon here. And I kinda like that, that edge. It's gonna make it easy to find the center, so if you find center on here, and then you put this down really nice, stick it down there. So this is just really a short video about this spoiler because this is really cool. I've worked with a lot of spoilers before, but this seems to be a little different. The quality is there, the packaging and the presentation is great there, and it has everything in the kit for you to put on a spoiler. Now the only difference is, I don't see in the kit, the only difference is if you have the factory spoiler, putting this one on. They don't give you this, the tools to take that stuff off, but I don't see most people, most people that have a performance are gonna leave that factory spoiler on there. It's people with a long range that want to add this spoiler to give it that extra look or that a more aggressive look, and that's what this is gonna do. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna show you how I install spoilers because I seem to do it quite often, especially on these wraps that you have to take the spoiler off to do this in one piece, and that's where you get a really good look. And let me show you the car too, you might be interested in that.
All right, here's the quick install on how I do this. I got some alcohol on a rag. I have it, you can use the kit that they have, but I have it set out here because I've been wrapping the car and that's how I clean the car. So I'm going to clean that edge. Now I take the spoiler and set it there and kind of eyeball it to where center could be. That's really close. And then I'm going to take some tape. I'm going to put tape down here and tape right here on the spoiler. But also, take another piece and hold it in place. And then I take a tape measure and measure from both sides. You can see I'm measuring the same way, basically from the corner of the trunk lid to the spoiler. And that one is six inches. I'm gonna come to this side and wow, I've nailed it, six inches. That is perfect. What's good about this is I don't have to move anything, but if you had to move anything, you just lift up here, move it, keep measuring back and forth. Sometimes that takes a while. Now I'm gonna take a pen, lightly mark down center. So now that is my center line. And then I can just pull this off, pull the tape and then set this in place. It is really that easy. You pull the red tape up a little bit and you have these little pigtails here. You wanna grab those on either side. You wanna line up the center. You wanna line up the middle again so those pigtails are out. Line this up and I'm still gonna put this tape here so it doesn't fall down. And then all you do here is you grab both and slowly pull towards the end. Don't pull the whole thing off. And then I'm going to set it, make sure it's there. I'm gonna go on this side don't pull too hard. If you get a bunch of resistance, you can break that tape and then you have to pull it off again. And if you have vinyl, then it's probably gonna pull the vinyl off. And I'm just gonna work my way back and forth. Ooh, that's good. And I'm gonna take tape and force this side down. Really get that set in there. And then I come on this side and pull. The bottom tape is shorter. So now I'm gonna go from the end, make sure that's down, force it down, grab the tape. I like this green tape because it doesn't uh, really grab hard, especially on vinyl. On um, paint, you can use whatever, but, well, not whatever, don't use duct tape. You wanna be able to hold this down, and honestly, you don't need the tape. I've done it without tape, and it's been fine. If you're going to park it outside in the sun, you don't need the tape. Just keep an eye on it. Pull off the centerpiece. I'm going to leave this tape on for a little bit. I got to wipe down the car before I ceramic coat it. So uh, I'll just I'll just do this part last. But you can see how evenly it fits. It fits really, really nice. And it's going to it's going to last for a long time because they use 3M real 3M tape. Like I said, I've worked with them before in the past and really good quality of everything they sell, everything they make. There's the directions. You don't need those. Just do what I did and it'll come out super awesome. Man, I love that little detail. Yeah, maybe I should put it on my car instead. It's already on there. <laughs> Order yours today. There's a link down below. Pick up this spoiler. It looks awesome. Like I said, I've worked with this company before in the past. They have a lot of cool stuff and, oh. oh, I was wondering where they were gonna pay me. They just put it in the box for me. Thank you guys. Not sponsored at all. Just kidding, it's fake money and it is sponsored. Although they just gave it to me for free. They didn't give me any money. They gave it to me for a video so you guys can see what products are out there.